Now it is my pleasure to invite the valedictorian to speak for the class of 2020. The class valedictorian is Emmanuel J. Farrell. Since, complete, <laughs> since completing her bachelor's degree in psychology at Marist, Emmanuel has earned a master of social work degree and recently accepted a position as a clinical case manager at the Cambridge Eating Disorder Center in Boston. Emmanuel? Thank you and good morning, President Wyman, Dr. Wormuth, Board of Trustees, distinguished faculty, family, friends, and finally, the graduating class of 2020. <laughs> I am deeply honored to have the opportunity to speak to you all today at our long-awaited commencement ceremony. More than two years ago, the COVID-19 pandemic led to the abrupt end of our time on the Marist campus and went on to take the health and lives of loved ones, cause financial instability, and alter the picture we had all imagined of our future. Since then, we have joined the rest of the world in navigating a period of uncertainty and loneliness, likely reminding us that every moment is a gift. Although we left Marist at a tragic time in global history, our gathering here today represents our unity, regardless of the circumstances. I want to thank all of the faculty who honored our place in the Marist community by safely celebrating our graduation. I'm sure we can all remember the first time we set foot on the Marist campus. Entering college is a major life transition that can bring on feelings of apprehension and a longing to return to the familiar. But when visiting potential colleges, Marist stood out to me. I was drawn to the tangible feeling of connectedness that made the campus feel like home. A strong sense of community is one of the Marist values, and this principle is established and maintained through small yet impactful actions. One of these practices is holding doors open. This may seem like an obvious courtesy, but if you have spent any time on the Marist campus, you know that opening doors is an unspoken yet strictly upheld norm here. No matter how far away the person walking behind you is, you must hold the door for them as they awkwardly speed walk towards you. If you are leaving a building and someone is walking in, a dance ensues as you attempt to hold the door for them while they do the same and onlookers watch in anticipation. It's just something we do here. But the opening of doors extends beyond a physical act of politeness. It is a metaphor for how we got here and for everything we have achieved. None of us would have found Marist in the first place if our life circumstances, our dreams, and those close to us had not gathered together to open the door to higher education, a privilege that everyone deserves, but not everyone is granted. With small class sizes and involved staff, the Marist value of excellence in education is exemplified by an academic environment that fosters critical thinking and collective growth. Outside the classroom, Marist students enjoy immersive internships, gain valuable experiences studying abroad, and partner with dedicated faculty to conduct research. We have also learned how to open doors for others in the broader community exhibiting the Marist value of service through civic engagement courses and volunteer opportunities provided by sports teams and clubs. Truthfully, our entire lives are made up of the opening of doors, all of them bringing us to this moment. We have come this far because of the schools that taught us, the people who supported us, and the inner strength that sustained us. And here we are, standing on the threshold of our future. As we celebrate our graduation, we can look at those who have held open doors for us and cheered us on as we stepped through them. 
They may be family members, friends, professors, coaches, advisors, dining hall staff, security guards, RAs, or others. I would like to take a moment to appreciate every person who has made our time at Marist what it is. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Equipped with an invaluable education, I know that we will all go on to live out the Marist mission by serving our communities in our own unique ways. We can all challenge social injustice, uplift the voices of those who have been silenced, and work to become more empathetic toward the experiences of others. I hope that all of you find many open doors in your future, and most importantly, that you will embody the Marist values by opening doors with others and for others. I can't wait to see what we do. Congratulations, class of 2020.